Hey guys, uh, this is a little video about one of these uh, electronic clock DIY kit module AT89C2051 six digit LED tool components 9 volt to 12 volt is the description. I thought I'd done one of these before, but so yeah. Basically, it's one of these, you know, just just a clock. But this one's different. Because if I remember the one I did before, it didn't have a battery holder, so every time you disconnected. You would lose the, um, you know, you lose the time and anything else that you set in it. So it's practically a bag of rubbish and useless to anybody. Um, but you know, these things aren't supposed to be uh, household appliances. Uh, it's supposed to just be, you know, practice. And when you got nothing better to spend two pound fifty nine on. Which you know could have got me a pint of beer at least, but if you've got nothing better, spend two pound fifty nine on, uh, and you want to sit and do a bit of soldering, you got nothing better to do with your life. Then these are for you. So what we got? I see for the socket, for the battery, some resistors, some little diodes. Zenas. There's a crystal and some legs on this one. The other one they don't normally have them, they're really short and stumpy. Display. Uh, yeah. And just some capacitors and some transistors. And a few LEDs. Here's the destructions, all in Mandarin, apart from the international language of electronics down there, which makes it all possible. The, the board itself is silk screen and it's all of the resistor values and the component values are all there on the board. So you know there's no real need for instructions when you just gotta look at what bit or goes to what bit so anyway should we uh, get cracking and put this thing together see if it works I reckon we should but first of all let me try and find there's a pointy thing on the front of my oh it's because I keep forgetting I've got to I've got to turn it on Okay. Right, well. So we've got this bit all sorted together. That didn't take very long. And we just have a little bit of a tidy up. There's all these little bits getting all over the place and 
And now it's going up in the bottoms of my feet. It isn't really much fun at all. So, occasionally when my grand son comes across, I panic a bit thinking I might end up in the bottoms of his feet. So this is what we got so far. Uh, I'm going to try and do this the right way around. Oh, if I just look at the camera and do it, it's that easy. Uh, if I give you a bit of light there, look. How pretty is that? There's one thing I didn't notice this week. Yeah, you know, the LEDs are on different levels. You'd think, you know, they're mass producing these to sell them off to idiots like me. Uh, they're just you know, fucking things at the right levels. Sorry about my swearing, but uh, who gives them monkeys anymore? And the baby can't get over it, you know. Wow. So let's give it a battery. I'm hoping that these oh, batteries work. So we've had them for a long time. You'll always be mindful to cut away from yourself. It's a lot better <laughs> slipping into thin air than what it is slipping into you. Now, oh. I think I got it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, like that. So okay, we got a we got a battery back up now. Just gonna chuck a couple of wires in there. Um, have we got anything quick I can throw in? It's pre-cut. We have, we have, we have. Let's draw a couple of Z wires. See if we can get one that will represent, you know, sort of that'll do, that'll do. Ah, what a Phillips finger. It's probably a bit big, but... Do you know I've got a laptop on the go that also see fixing but it's driving me nuts. The only thing that will run on it is a Linux operating system. There's it's got issues, hardware issues. I've given up on it for now. There's a cane bolt. Right, so here we go. This is for the um promise was well, blah, 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 blah. I can't remember what it said it was. Um, it's <sighs> between nine volt and twelve volt. So we've got some wires set up here. We've got something out of the way, and that's what we're going to switch that off now so we can move that on. Uh, but these wires aren't quite long enough to keep everything in the picture. Oh, yes, they are. I don't know what this is. There you go. This will make it a little bit easier. You just attach them together. It should be, uh, you know. Oh yeah, we must put this in as well because it's probably not going to work very well without that. So just make sure we get the right way around. Same as we have to make sure we got the polarity of the LEDs the right way around. The little diodes. Did I just put that in the wrong way around? Do you know what I just did? I just put it in the wrong way around. There's me saying about putting it the right way around and I go and put it in the wrong way around. That's just about right. Careful, you see, with these things, it's so easy to damage. Quite surprised that this one actually got to me undamaged, and I've just damaged it. Bunch of legs are straying up now. Could try and do this without. Uh, now normally, like, when I get these, they're all bent up, and I uh, I tend to whine a little bit about it. 
on this one I've just done it so I just hope that they're not just going to snap on the wall just bend them back get the pins nice and straight you have to be careful these not to bend them about too much because these pins are very eager to break it's almost like they uh, they're just very flimsy, they're very weak but anyway that looks close enough so we can put it in the right way around this time without damaging any of the pins so that's the right way around gently gently does it make sure all those pins are oh, looks like you could probably do a little bit of a, a tease yep looks good so far slide it home okay we're in we're in we're in we're in I just need to have a quick little look at my dinner